Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. So in the last video, um, I think Charmander got poisoned. Oh, no he didn't. Oh, wanna know why? That's because when I was off camera, well, yeah, off screen, I actually went went to a Pokemon Center and healed him up. So, so yeah, he got poisoned in the last, well, at the end of the last video. But now we're back. Yeah, I challenged him on purpose. Alright, so from now on, I'm going to try to one- I know it seems like I'm cheating, but I'm going to try to one-shot the Weedles because, well... Because, well, they're, they're have a, we, they have a high chance of poisoning me, for all we know. Alright, so Charmander's at level 10. There's his new stats. Alright, what's he going to send out? Alright, I don't want to... Oh my goodness! Oh wait, but I have a... But I have something to counter that, though. Alright, I'm going to give him a fair fight, too. Yeah, I have something to counter the poisoning. Alright, so Weedle fainted, and I gained 78 points. I mean, experience points. Let's use Ember. Alright, so I one-shotted him. 106 experience, my goodness! Alright. Yes, I know, you ran out of Pokemon. So yeah, while I was off camera, well, off screen, I basically just went in and healed Charmander and saved the game and well and went to, went to sleep. All right, so I got an antidote. And he's going to challenge me. I knew it. Alright, bug catcher Anthony. Let's do this. So I'm gonna use Scratch. Oh man, that was a critical hit? You know, as a as a little bonus to you guys, I might do um the Nuzlocke challenge. The Nuzlocke challenge is where you go in and um it's basically like survival. If any of your Pokemon faint, you can't use it again. You'll have to like let it go. So I'm thinking about doing that. A friend told me that um, that the game will actually know you're doing the Nuzlocke challenge by increasing the amount of critical hits you get. So I, I don't know if the, if the AI in the game is that smart. Who knows? But I might do like um, bonus videos of, the, of me doing the Nuzlocke challenge. So, let's continue on. We're still in the Viridian Forest. For some reason, the encounter rate in, um, is, a, is atrociously low right now. See? Oh, well, let's challenge this guy real quick. Uh, I, I don't know why the encounter rate is so low. Oh, there we go. Send out Charmander. We can one-shot him with the scratch. Or no, he can't. All right. When we get to the next Pokemon Center, I'm going to. I'm probably going to. No, I am going to heal Charmander. Because yeah, he's like 11 points below his maximum health. So don't steal Pokemon, guys. That's that's. A, and oh man, that was a lag spike right there. All 
All they're doing is just sending out Weedle or, um, or Kakuna. And that other Pokemon. I, I can't remember its name now. Oh, I slowed down my speed. Uh-oh. That's not good. All right, there we go. The poison set in, but there's nothing to there's nothing to worry about. Just watch. Oh yeah, hold on. Before, oh man, that was a huge lag spike. Yeah, see, you know how the screen just flashed for a second? That means your when your Pokemon is poisoned, that means they're slowly losing health, and if you don't get them to a Pokemon Center or heal them immediately then um, they'll faint, and you'll spawn, well, respawn at the nearest Pokemon Center. So just make sure, so just make sure your Pokemon um, is healed up after it's poisoned. It doesn't matter how much um, health your Pokemon has when it was poisoned, you, you need to heal it up, I don't care. Alright, where does this lead? Alright, Pewter City. Talk to these folks. All right. So, oh, he's talking about the HM or TM cut. You can stop the process. You can stop. You can stunt Pokemon evolution. I didn't even know that. Like, in all the years that I've played this game, I didn't know you could stunt evolution like that. Alright, let's take him to a Pokemon Center, too. Wow, I, I, don't, I didn't know you could stop Pokemon from evolving, but how do you do it? Not that I want to do it, but still, that, that sounds crazy, man. We hope to see you again. Alright. So oh, another trainer tips, <coughs> trainer tip sign. All right, so yeah, basically, whenever a, po a Pokemon doesn't have to fight, whenever you're in a battle, um, it's just that as long as as it's in there, it can earn XP points, even if it did not battle. All right, let's buy some items. Let's go. Um, all I just needed was to buy some potions. So I think I have to go to the Pewter City Gym. Well, let's look around some more. Talk to some folks. Oh! Wow, that's surreal. Alright, so I think, um, I think his story-driven, uh, quest, um, is at the museum. Did she just call me a child? Here you go. Take your 50 Poké Dollars, whatever you call them. I cannot believe that that receptionist at the um, at the museum just called me a child. Not <laughs> space shuttle. It just says space shuttle. No, nothing special. All right, there's. I don't think um, there's a quest for me here, so I'm gonna go outside. Oh, wrong way. Alright. So 
let's look around. So oh, yeah, there we go. The Pewter City Gym. I think Brock is here. Yep, that's Brock. Oh my goodness, 10,000 light years. That light years, uh, folks, light years is measured in distance, not time. Don't be like this dude. Do not be like this dude who calls, who measures light years in time, okay? Alright, so, so that's Geodude. Yeah, Geodude, he's, um, doing, if you do distant moves on him, it'll affect him greatly, but if you do, like, um, fighting moves like Scratch or Tackle, it won't, it'll barely even hurt him. See? See what I mean? Alright. Oh, no, why'd I click that? Alright, let's, let's finish him off. Oh, it's not effective. Why'd I do that? Come on, man. I, I, what am I doing? There we go. Oh, man. I skyrocketed. But, folks, don't be like that. Oh, Metal Claw! Alright, Sandshrew, um, he's actually... I want to test this out first. Hold on. Oh, that only... Oh! Alright, he's gonna lower my accuracy now. Uh-oh. Oh, he's still lowering my accuracy. Goodness. Okay. Alright, so it's about to lower his health a little. Hold on. I I'm putting right, I'm putting Charmander at great risk doing this. I mean not not doing this, but at great risk right now. Cause he's about to he was on yellow, he was about to die. Uh oh, that only chipped away half. I mean, a part of his life points right there. All right, let's use Ember. There we go. We won, people. I did it. I told you guys. It measures distance. Don't be like this trainer, okay? Don't be like him. Light years is measured in distance, not time, okay? So, thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna cut the game, I'm gonna put, cut the playthrough right here, I cannot speak. So, thanks for watching, I hope you had a great time watching this, I hope you had some laughs, you know? So, have a great day. Bye!